guess. Anyway, uh, yeah. So last last time before before Neil busted in on our stream, Neil, you jerk. Um, we wiped out on a fairly easy battle. So what I did is I went back and I changed some things around, and um, we are now going to start up at the end of that battle because I'm not going to wipe it this time. I didn't uh, goof around quite as much as I did before. Nice. And I'm trying to remember what all I changed. I think the main thing that I changed was... Um, paying attention. Well, paying attention. But I also changed Ramza to a thief, I believe, with uh, ah. equip heavy armor. And uh, no, I changed him to an archer with uh, equip heavy armor because I want to soon change him into a thief because he won't be much of an attacker while he's a thief. But being a thief will unlock some uh, new classes for him down the, lo down the road that I like. And uh, I wanted to get him part of the way towards that while we still have these overpowered guests to help carry the load. Sweet. So let's bring this guy back up. Yeah, just, you know, never mind what happened at the end of last week's episode of this. Yeah, it's not like it that is. It never happened. It was, you know. I mean, it's permanently ensconced on YouTube, but what you gonna do? Nope, nope, this is the first time you've ever, you've ever done this battle <laughs> on video with me. <laughs> <sighs> and these two are gonna bicker some more now that this battle's over. And they're headed to Fort Besselat. Yet another name that, you know, means nothing to anybody except for people talking about it. You'll have to give me that sweet, sweet bonus coin. <laughs> what I really like is battles like that where you get bonus coin and then you also get uh, Gil as a battle trophy as well. Right, yeah. And now we're rerouting. Wow, so many possibilities here. But first, let's see what we might have gotten here to uh, make our lives a little bit better now that we have lots and lots of gill. How these be shopping. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> One thing that I've always liked about this is that we've got the round shield here available to our knight. But okay. it's not very round, it's just kind of green. Moving on! Round and green, you know, they're just basic synonyms for each other. <laughs> I, I, right, I forgot they called it the fitting room. Yes, just like in your uh, typical mall. I'm just like going to Kohl's. I'm performing surgery on a stapler here simultaneously. That's why we're uh, a little stalled. What if, what has happened to the stapler child? <laughs> why are we streaming a stapler? She's making books, Josh. She is making books. What have you done to this thing? I know, I'm just teasing you to do it. Uh-oh. Well, it appears to not be working. So maybe we have to staple them later. Or maybe you have to find your stapler, because I don't know where your stapler is. Why don't you go try to locate a stapler? Staple, 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 staple. Bye. Josh, you, you doing okay over there, pal? No, never. Um, uh, what, um, hmm, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Let's just move on. Hey, a battle. Now, wait, we got multiple options here, though, right? Wait. Well, we... We one of these we, ways once before, didn't we? Yes, so uh, everything here over in this side is kind of where we were wandering about um, in Chapter 1. Chapter yeah, no, I know 2... That. I mean the ones on top and on bottom. Oh, yes. Well, yeah, uh, so this is... We're at Dorder right now. 
Yeah, which is where we've been before. Yes, we have. Uh, the battle that we just had was also in Dorder, but it was in a different neck of the woods, a different neighborhood in Dorder. Uh, yeah. Not down at the, uh, you know, like the merchant area, but more of the residential area, according to that map that we were in. Uh, so, yeah, the, these are places we've been before. We've been to the desert before. We've been to Orban before. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, right. Well, Orban is okay. where the prologue takes place. And we'll be back at both of those locations again later. But for now, the plot is driving us over here right. towards Fort Besselet. Gotcha. I was trying to figure out, but right, we came from the bottom just immediately before starting that door to that. We came from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. We started from the bottom, and now we are here. Yeah, that, that's what I said. More or less. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> I'll never deny. <laughs> Discord is an absolute wreck right now. I blame Neil. <laughs> Hob gob, gob hob. Gob, gob. <laughs> it's actually better if you think of this as possibly being like Arrested Development and uh, Job has just showed up on his segue. I know you won't get that reference, DP, I don't care. Yeah, sorry about that. We'll leave that to our viewer. Our singular viewer. An adult hated bird. Shut up, Gaff. This is another wow. one of those battles where you get to make a choice and it uh, determines what the um, objective of the battle is. And in this one, both of them just sound awful. <laughs> <laughs> We should ignore this chocobo, or perhaps we could enslave him. Let's do that! <laughs> and yet again, the, uh, the archetypes of our guest characters come out <laughs> in completely random ways. Yep. Again, this battle does not pose any real great danger because uh, no. and <laughs> the guests have a tendency to steamroll through these things. It is a little bit harder, just like uh, in Chapter 1, by choosing to uh, protect the uh, third guest here. Uh, the battle gets a little bit harder because you can't let them gang up on the Chocobo, who is, of course, named Boko and has an AI script that... Uh, tries to bail him out of the battle, but really only puts him in a place where he can get ganged up on more easily. And I've never been 100% sure as to whether this was intentional or not, but this uh, Chocobo does have the same name as the Chocobo that Wygraf had a few battles ago. Um, I, I think you can assume from that that yes, this is the same Chocobo, but uh, Ramza also says that um, he is not a domesticated Chocobo and is therefore hardier than a domesticated Chocobo. But I'm pretty Whoa. sure he's domesticated if he once was uh, Wygraf's steed. So, I don't know. Hmm. Ramza could Something just be an idiot. Something 
And I'm pretty sure we've established that Rams is a little bit of an idiot, so. Very nice. Yeah. Can I make a book? <laughs> she is making a book, yes, and she is writing a book <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> what, Neil? <laughs> Never talking to you. Okay, good. Shadow Blade, please, the four. Not enough to kill him. Not enough to get a level, that's Eh. One of my favorites about these kinds of battles is every now and then a goblin steps into one of those holes, like the one in the middle of the map, and he's like almost completely underground. He's like, ah yes, that's 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 how geography works. <laughs> <laughs> There are some uh, deep random holes in here. <laughs> Love monsters. <laughs> Love monster. Sweet. Big old hero there. Hmm. Actually, I note that uh, this boy has come in here to start messing stuff up. Um, Can't allow that. Again, because he's a chocobo, he's got a choco cure. So really, that chocobo is not in too much danger. But now that he's All boxed right. in there, um, anytime he uses choco cure, it's also going to heal that black goblin that has him pinned in because of the uh, choco cure range. So it's a good idea to knock him down as much as we can here. So when he does inevitably get healed, um, it limits the damage, or non-damage, inverse damage. I feel like the guys in Discord were really just waiting for us to start up this stream so they could wreck things everywhere. What are they wrecking? Um, there are hundreds of emojis <laughs> appearing oh, in Discord as we speak. It's like if your channel gets raided, only the people raiding it are your actual friends. Yes. I thought I had both windows up, but I did not, and so the, um, the, the chat window was not updated. I think it's possible for uh, me to put uh, Discord chat into the stream itself. So maybe at some point I'll work that oh, out dear. so people can see just how stupid that is. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, it's a terrible nice thing. Nice was in here. Yeah. Discord brings all the friends together. Has he been in here much recently and I missed it or something? Or? Uh, yeah, he, he was in Discord uh, from before it was the con Discord. <laughs> oh, spin punch. Well, I meant the con Discord. Well, I know. And yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Just roll with it. It's fine. Pew. Nice. The long ranger. After the last few battles, this one is just so boring. I really don't have much to say about it. Look how sweet, though.
against my white mage tank. One of my favorite parts is when someone just gets like death. And then they just kind of like keep marching. <laughs> they pause for a second, <laughs> then yeah, back into their animation. Derp, 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 right. Derp. right, like they don't even necessarily, like there is a reaction where they get like hit and they sort of like get knocked. But, you know, that only happens sometimes. Other times they just sort of pause for a little bit. And they keep on marching, they fight back at it. Yeah, and it is a little bizarre, but uh, it, it makes a little bit of sense in game because, uh, you know, just like every Final Fantasy, there are status impairments that can be put on, uh, among which are, you know, the stop uh, affliction. So at that point, their animations do stop and they don't move anymore. Mm -hmm. So you get a visual indication that they can't actually do anything. But. Yes, that there's a lot of walking in place just for that one little use case. <laughs> Whack. Wow. I just Why? really enjoy that. <laughs> Why? Well, if it had critical, they would have ended the battle, which would have been nice, but... <laughs> he just wanted to end the battle by throwing a stone. I, it is pretty funny, though. I'm, the battle's certainly over, anyway. Oh, wait, did I leave one alive? Oh, there's one hiding behind that tree. Oops. <laughs> Should have turned the camera. <laughs> I guess I could have done something far more useful with my time then. Than throwing a stone? Than throwing a stone, yeah. Well, yeah, she probably hmm. couldn't have gotten in range to do anything else anyway, but whatever. Now, we can allow him into the party or refuse him. Uh, we'll allow him because in the PSP version you can have like 24 yeah. different party members. Um, in the uh, PSX version you could only have 16, I think it was. So you did a lot of culling oh, really? over time uh, yeah. that you don't have to do in the PSP version. But also, uh, allowing him into your party will let him start spawning eggs because apparently chocobos yeah <laughs> neil has nailed it in uh in twitch chat yeah despite yep. being a male chocobo without a spouse uh he is going to pop out eggs at a shocking rate and we will soon be <laughs> overwhelmed with chocobos and we will start we will either start <laughs> slaughtering them to try to pick treasure up off of them <laughs> <laughs> or oh, we no. will start dismissing them from our party, or we'll start destroying the eggs before they even hatch, <laughs> like oh, no. uh, psychotic chocobo abortionists. So, oh, no. uh, <laughs> but I'm going to keep uh, a few of them around at least so I can dismiss them because they are extra pathetic when you kick them out of the party, even relative Aww. like humans. So, <laughs> it's a great deal. Uh, Probably should have saved before this battle. This one is, uh, this one's a little messy. But it's awesome for exposition, so. Okay, love me some exposition. Oh, you know, it's not a hard battle, but, uh, um, and it can light you up if you're not careful. I should I should have unequipped. You're absolutely right, Neil. And I, I just continually forget what is happening. Uh, there's some stuff that happens in this battle that uh, I should have unequipped a particular character for. Is Neil... Wait, where is Neil talking to you from? Neil, Neil is both in Twitch and Discord simultaneously, talking oh, to me in both. That's so confusing. <laughs> and he's using totally different emojis in uh, Twitch, so... Oh, man. All right, so inside, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, here we go. Very dramatic scene. We're uh, crossing a bridge on a waterfall. Delita and Ovelia are trapped by the Northern Sky, trying to get Ovelia back. Uh -huh. Northern Sky, of course, uh, being <clears throat> the uh, faction with which Ramza was of late associated. Right. Uh, but no longer. That's, that's why Neil said I should have unequipped him, because now he's going to be able to use Dark Sword against us. Oh, crap. <laughs> that's okay, I brought two healers. Oh, dear. Why as she lives, the threat remains that... Josh! Sorry. <laughs> what does the threat remain? I missed it. I don't know. <laughs> The stroke that fells a prom princess at once brings down a rival lion. That was Lard's plan all along. <gasps> Wait, what? <gasps> but the plot has more of the people of Dysodarg's thinking. <gasps> it's Ramza's brother. Uh oh. Messed up, man. It's all messed up. No, not again. I will not watch the sacrifice of the man. Pietra. Now I have a cat wanting to watch the stream. Hello, cat. Okay, so now we've got the objective here of protecting her, and I yeah. seem to remember. Did we? I think we might have messed that up last time we played. <laughs> Hello, Dale. I've got another book in front of me now. Dale put a bale on a whale. That is quality writing, dear. <laughs> nice. On a scale, the whales on a scale. This is much more interesting than this video game. Oh my goodness. Well done. Josh. Josh. Yes. <laughs> Ah, okay. So yes, all the allegiances are changing as of right now. So for the purposes of this battle, we're going to lose Gafgarian, and we're going to pick up Delita. Uh-huh, okay. So Delita says now that, in fact, he was here to protect the person. Yeah, because, because he, he, he knew. knew that Gafgarian's real contract was to pump her off. Uh-huh. Obviously, so this Gafgarian... is ticking Gafgarian off to no end, because Gafgarian understands nothing but, like, the financial aspect of it. Right. Though, it, it should be said, of course, at this point in time, we don't really know what Delta's, um, motives could potentially be. Right, and uh, yeah, that's that's left unclear for a, a pretty good chunk of time, <laughs> and it changes more than uh, once. No. Right, so like we we do we certainly know that he's a you know thoughtful guy or whatever, but certainly he might have plenty of reason to want the princess dead himself. Mm -hmm. As something of a you know anti elite anti aristocratic. Yeah, it would have been nice to unclip that. Yeah, that was dumb. What you gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna heal me some princess. That's good. That's good. I'd love to see it. She doesn't really need it, I and mean, she's got high HP for a princess, and she has uh, access to some white magic herself. Because I'm well, I, stereotypically, what else would you teach a princess to learn other than white magic? Right. I mean, Don't she's certainly her. not going to be a knight. I mean, she's I'm a like lady. Me. Okay, 
Okay, so Delta's answer there didn't really answer. No, it's yeah, it, it's all completely uh, oh, <laughs> misleading. Oh, so you're a human being. Oh, <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. It was kind of hard to tell with that haircut. I could swear you were a chocobo. <clears throat> Yeah, the only annoying parts of this battle are the fact that A, I forgot to unequip Gafgarian, so he's going to run through and do uh, uh, Shadow Blade on everybody forever. Yep. And then the fact that all of the other enemy participants are knights with high HP, so it just drags out for a little while while you beat these guys to death. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, what, do you remember, Josh, what the um, Dice of Dark and Duke Lard? Mm -hmm. Do they have... They, well, I, I'm trying to remember what their political angle is here. Are they aligned with a different claimant to the throne? Or do yes, they they, they, the they, um, they want uh, Prince Oranus on the throne, the, uh, the infant prince. Right. Uh, right. Because as an infant, he would need a ward. And uh, I believe the implication is that Lard would fill in as that uh, ward and therefore exert absolute power because, you know, the king is a baby. <laughs> Right, right. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was that or if it was like they, they were trying to keep it vacant or something like that. Also worth noting is that somehow in this like intervening year, um, Delita is now as capable as Agrius, while Ramza is just some little punk archer. I mean, come on. <laughs> Aw. Poor little Ramza. He hasn't been training hard enough. Dude needs to go to the gym more, do more squats. I know, right? I did squat day yesterday. My legs are incredibly sore. Ah, uh, the DP exercise podcast. Oh, yep, we have another right. book arriving. The shark played with Mark at the park. Nice. Oh, the there. shark played with Mark at the park until dark. Whoa. The shark played with Mark at the park until dark. You are a very talented child. Sorry, uh, <laughs> our screen sharing application uh, has uh, now flipped out on me. No, oh, no. It's fine. I got it fixed. It was just giving me dialogue messages in front of our game. Yeah, Garion does what he is paid to do. He doesn't ask questions. This is a good question, Rams. Like, what would you have done? Lives end every day with you none the wise. Yeah, Garion enters a sort of alternate position into our, you know, our sort of moral universe in this game so far. <laughs> yes, he, he takes up the amoral portion of it. <laughs> well, I mean, because we've had, <clears throat> right, there's the, the sort of aristocratic position that some people are, are greater than others and whatnot, and then there's the sort of... Um, the peasant position that everyone is equal, and then Gafirian, in a way, kind of is a rift in a sense on the peasant position. A bad, obviously, and sort of unappealing one, but that, you know, like, like people die every day, like, so what? Yeah. Whether she's a princess or whether she's a peasant doesn't matter, right? It's just another person who dies and another person who gets paid, you know, to do it. Right, which is the main crux of what he's going for. It, it, right. it, he doesn't care who's living and dying as long as he's getting his money. Exactly. If someone's going to die, uh, he might as well get the money for it. See, she's a princess. She don't need no man. <laughs> she whack him with her staff. Nice. Now this is one of those battles where um, if you beat up on the primary enemy enough and put him into critical, he will bail out. 
so if we can uh, gang up on Gafgarian a little bit, which is difficult since he retreated up into the hills, uh, we can eventually pound on him enough where he will teleport away from the battle and uh, make things a little bit easier on us. Ooh. That would be a real help. Fucking knights. Now, something of, uh, something of Delita's was just rent there, but I don't really care what it is. <laughs> Because he's a guest. He kind of doesn't, right, he's a guest. He it, really doesn't There's not really much you can do yeah. either way. One other thing that cropped up there briefly uh, that you probably did not notice because I was going through it quickly, but uh, one of the knights has uh, geomancy as his secondary ability, which is probably the first time I think that we've seen that in the game. Uh, ah. He was on a grassy patch and he was able to use the hell ivy ability to uh, oh, right, cause right, damage right. Gotcha. from range right. on Agrius. I didn't. I didn't recognize that it was a geomancy. Uh, gotcha. Agrius has really been uh, that that sword move she's got that's able to hit multiple has really come in handy. She's had some really nice use of it. Yep, definitely. So, oh come on, and then that's why she's kind of the the first among the uh, the game breaking characters, really. <laughs> Still sick. I got a lingering cough. <laughs> it's not very fun. Now again, Delita has those same abilities, so thump, thump. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Delita's pretty OP. Now this is a, a fun uh, bit of code because, you know, obviously Gafgarian is here to kill the princess, so that is all he focuses on. If he hits somebody else, it's only because he could not get within range of the princess in this battle. Which really works to our favor because it means that uh, he will pretty much ignore danger coming at him. <laughs> I've always thought this was a really neat battle map, and in the PSP version that we're playing here, uh, you actually get a chance to do a second battle on this map with the that you don't get in the original version. Ah, it's called Tanglevine in this version, not Hell Ivy. That's from uh, the original. Ivy's, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Oh, good. Gafgarian will get in the way of that, and I'll still miss. Perfect. You are a very useful archer, my friend. Yeah, having him in this battle really uh, helps. Hmm, I wonder if I keep forgetting to put auto potion on that chemist. <laughs> yeah, I, I suspect say, the answer is yes. Auto potion issue. I, I remember that I failed to put it on him at one point in the past, and I must have continued to do that forever. Well, right, because you keep thinking it's there, and then it, it turns out to not be there. <laughs> That's my life. No.
No, of course, because he has uh, Dark Knight abilities. He did mostly heal himself after that last turn, so now we gotta get back on top of him. I always think that his helmet on, on the sprite there looks like it's like a, an arrow helmet for a cyclist. It seems like <laughs> kind of big up front and then it tapers in the rear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Oh, I'll delete his good equipment. It's getting roasted by that guy. No. Boo. Uh, you'll also notice, uh, though it goes by pretty quick, that Delita's job class, uh, shown in his status, is Holy Knight, which uh, is a pretty big Ooh. clue as to what he's up to. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. I hadn't noticed that, so thank you. <laughs> it's certainly very shiny. <laughs> now, when someone's equipment gets rent, that's just for that battle, right? No, it's, it's gone. Oh, shit. Yeah. Which, uh, we, again, we don't really care when it's Delita, because we don't get to keep him, but, uh... Right, but, like, there's, so, okay, because that really, man, is that, that's a real potential pain there. So yes. there are some instances, then, where you start a battle, it may be going well, but then a really good piece of equipment gets run, and mm -hmm. then you have to quit the battle. Yeah. That's, or you choose to, at the very least, because, yeah, it's, well, yeah, a, it's a big right. deal. Right. <clears throat> Having a real heck of a time knocking him down at all. Probably another symptom of, uh, or, yeah, probably another symptom of me doing things not correctly. <laughs> But what the heck, we'll just keep uh, feeding this guy potions and uh, make him kind of like the vampire target for uh, Gafgarian <laughs> for a while. It works. supposed to be the timer in the upper right corner how does that how is that supposed to work the, oh that that's not the timer that uh that shows how high the uh oh. character is see so that you can see so rams is 21.5 blocks high where oh. he is whereas agrius is only 4.5 high down there at the bottom of the falls okay oh man <laughs> that makes so much more sense <laughs> In, in a lot of cases, it ends up not really being relevant at all, so... <laughs> sure. It's easy. <yeah. laughs> Neil, Neil thinks that's funny, by the way. <laughs> that I thought it was a timer? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I was confused. That would be a really hilarious timer. That is true. Well, I was trying to figure out what it was for. <laughs> Why does it keep changing? Right. It's going in no discernible direction. <laughs> Now, yes, let's hopefully distract this knight some so he doesn't go back and fill his HP with those uh, two corpses we have on the ground. I mainly moved to Rover to block off that path, so those guys could not get to those uh, crystals or treasure chests or whatever they end up being. Nice, nice. I 
I think that was our last regular potion too, so for now, from now on, uh, any auto potions will use high potions. <clears throat> yep, excellent. Yeah, a lot of them here. Good thing we've got a bunch of high potions, so. Yes, I, I started buying those exclusively a few battles back, uh, which you probably didn't notice, specifically for that reason. Gotcha. Hey, hey! Go get some treasure chests! Ah, uh, hemp and robe. Really? Lame. Yeah, that's pretty useless. You made six I've books! Oh my gosh. Will you read them to me when we go somewhere? Can you have her start working on my dissertation? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at Alex. For he is a funny boy. Ooh. You forgot you had your earrings on? Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, Delita. Jerk. Uh-huh. Delita. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We probably should stream more of your uh, information on clip-on earrings. <laughs> Uh-oh, the gem fell out. It's the content that con users really want. <laughs> well, we haven't identified what that is yet, so I mean, might as well take a stab. <laughs> might as well keep trying. <laughs> Put it back in. Gotcha. Okay. What's going on? Uh-huh. Okay. Sounds good. Agrius' AI, if you couldn't quite tell, uh, relies on her protecting the princess. So now even though there's only one combatant on the field, and uh, he is all the way across the map, she's going to stay right next to him rather than uh, take a chance of leaving her. Mm. Yeah, man, it, is, it really is one of those battles that drags on. Yeah, because I didn't unequip him like a big dumb dummy. What can you do? I could unequip him and not be a big dumb dummy. Mainly. Yeah, but this is. We, we were going for the authentic experience. <laughs> you wouldn't have known this otherwise. The authentic dummy experience. At least Elite is doing the useful thing now. Later, this is going to be just playing in the head over and over. <laughs> that, as it should be. <clears throat> I'm not sure about that. Just more grist for the uh, Gafgarian mill at the moment. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. Let's not send somebody all the way over there to do that. What was that character's name? Hebraim or something? Habraham or something like that, yeah. Habraham? Wow. Oh, yeah. Hebraic. Got him in critical. Yeah, get out now of he's here. gonna leave. Goodbye. <laughs> and everybody turns to stare at the princess. <laughs> <laughs> Cutscene. 
Let's Ooh. see. Let the princess oh, wow. with me. She will really be big safer in my care. <laughs> what is this game you play with us, Talita? Game? I do no more than speak the truth. You've made an enemy of the entire order of the Northern Sky. That armor is just nuts out. Where would you now take her? Where's Think, the Ramza. Take her? This was Duke Log's plan, and he would not act without counsel of the Queen. You cannot trust the Crown. Would you then turn to Goltana? No, that would be folly. He would only offer up your heads in hopes of keeping his own. And what so would you propose to do? I would do only that which you, my lady, cannot. You speak in nothings. Yeah, literally. That's not good. So I do. But pay it no mind. I shall leave her with you for yet a while longer. Delita! What? I did not think we would meet again, but I'm glad we have. Was Titra. Who's Goltana again? Actually, you can tell me that after this. She watched over me then. Good, because I didn't hear the question. As she does now. is not our last. I owe you my thanks as well. But he's right. The northern sky will not be long in falling on us now. This is Great the path I've voice chosen. There. <laughs> uh, who's Goltana again? Uh, Goltana is um, the leader of the opposite faction from Larg. They're the ones that are careening towards civil war at the moment. Ah. Uh, um, wait. Who's... What's their position then in this? So, okay, sorry. <laughs> Larg wants the infant prince. Here, let's, uh, uh... Well, here, first, uh, we'll note that we're uh, going to go find the cardinal. Right. Colonel Delacroix. And another reroute. Okay. So here, <clears throat> here's what we'll do. To the Chronicle. Whoa. Persona. So, Duke Goltana, the ruler of Zeltenia. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he's got pretty pretty mean looking stash there. And his name is Druxmold, so that's good. Yeah, that's a lot. So who is he who is he backing in this contest that's careening towards civil war? Right? Because Larg is backing. Well he he is uh he is his own as it says, you know, he he controls the order of the southern sky. So he has his own army. Right, and well, yes, but we have the northern. Well, not we, but the, Duke Larg has the northern sky. Uh huh. Wow, that's a really powerful bull cut. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so Duke Larg wants the infant uh, prince to be on the throne because that will put him in basically in command. Yeah. Right. So Oh no, oh they're both oh no, yeah. I see. They're, they're... So it's that they're both trying to position themselves to be the regent. Yes. Mm -hmm. For him. It's not that one of them is on is like working on his behalf and the other is working for somebody else. Right. Gotcha. Okay, that's what I was confused about.
Yeah. And then here's the, you know, here's where Ovelia and uh, Oranus kind of come into conflict because there are people who say, you know, uh, she is the daughter of Denamda the fourth. And that means that, uh, you know, she should be the rightful heir. And then there are the others that say that uh, Orna should be the rightful heir because he is a uh, actual, you know, born child of the current king. And, uh, you know, to make that easier, to make that, you know, to reduce the amount of fighting over which child is the rightful heir, they were just going to kill one of them. Makes it a lot easier. Uh -huh. Yeah, that would, that would be the trick, I guess. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a quick way, anyway. Right, it would solve the problem. All right. I don't remember which battle this is at freaking all. Which battle is this, Neil? Is this just a fort again? Yeah. Because <coughs> I know we're not the devil cry yet. So that's just kind of like new to cry, because I remember that now. Yeah. That's that's probably about as far as we got to the probably around the first meeting with Delacroix. Oh yes, it's this one. Okay, and that's why we only have four characters because we're going to be introduced to another guest. They want some sort of stone. What could that mean? <gasps> the aura site. That sounds stony. Hi, Harlequin. in Twitch chat. Hi, Harl. Okay, so here's another uh, moral choice battle. This one actually does get pretty tricky if we uh, do the uh, the brave route. Right. Because Mustadio is not smart. Oh, no. And there's a lot of enemies here, aren't there? Yes, oh, and there's a lot of ranged attacking enemies. Oh, dear. But, again, we brought two healers. And as Neil would say, don't be a weak baby. Yeah, that's right. Don't be a weak baby. Ah, uh, sweet, because he's got a proper bow, he can actually hit people. Yep. Pew! Nice, just dip that one right over. <laughs> got him. Harlequin is letting us know that she can only hear us, not see us, because she's at work. Unfortunately, hearing us is by far the worst part of this. Yeah, I'm sorry, Harl. We're terrible. <laughs> yeah, this is not the most desirable position to be in, to you, I'm afraid. I don't often have a white mage uh, in this battle, but now that I do and she knows protect, that hopefully will make things a little bit better on us, because... Mm. Uh, we can get uh, Protect cast on Mustadio and hopefully leave him to his own devices a little bit more. Ooh, yeah, that'll help. So also, right, by... This wall is too tall. You can't jump up on it like Mustadio somehow did. Right? Uh, well, he jumped on it from the other side, and, you know, with the, with the proper height or jump attributes, you can. Um, most, ca most characters, I believe, can still get onto the wall right where he is standing. Uh, if you see that little slope that comes down, that is a okay. jumpable height, I believe. Okay. Either way, there's certainly parts of the wall that one can't jump onto. And with with a normal kind of character, yeah. Right. So at, at this point, it it does create a rather interesting uh, uh, kind of map dynamic here. So there's clearly the gate on one side, and then there's maybe on the other side you can jump at that point of the slope, but. Um, Rams is about to get crunched, so I went ahead and queued up a weak uh, cure spell. So I do believe that both of those mages targeted Ramza because they're the only thing they can hit. That was the nice thing about rushing Ramza forward, though, because otherwise, those two guys... My god, he's got Faraga? 
Yikes! Oh! <laughs> wow! That was Turns unanticipated. Turns out that that weak cure spell was not the greatest idea there. Well, I mean, it was wasted in the end, but I mean... <laughs> 12 HP is not not really a whole lot to be giving someone back before a Furega comes in for 96. Eh. That's okay, at least one of them's dead now. Ooh, sweet. Unfortunately, it was not the one who cast Furega. No. <laughs> that would have been too convenient. All's well that ends well. We haven't won yet. Okay, so there's the spot on the other side where he can get up onto that wall. Yeah, and now he's gonna <clears throat> take a little bit of a beating. Oh, there's another uh, another archer named Lettuce. <laughs> I don't think you were around. It was when I was redoing the uh, the battle that we wiped on last week. There was an archer named Lettuce. It's a beautiful name. You have another, uh, you have another child, Josh. You know, I think you should keep that one in mind. Yeah, I think that would go really well with the wife. Yeah, uh, I think it would. She's gotta stick with the fundamentals here, Josh. <laughs> focus a little bit. Well, she, yeah, she can't do anything else, so I might as well make her a little bit stronger. Fair enough. Because the other person is too high up. Haha, <laughs> sucker! Yes, the, the other person was too high up to reach the sword. In there. It, were she a lancer, uh, she would have been able to reach that high. Oh, Agrius with the white magic, thank you! Ooh. Where where were you casting that when he just got a level 3 spell dumped on him? I, uh, don't worry about it, don't think about it too hard. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it looks like uh, the next spell will not be going to Ramza, so... Won't be quite as useful. No, but now we're kind of in the scramble where we have to keep Buckshot here alive. But I do love the little uh, graphic for throwing a potion at someone. It's I like that it just kind of flies across the screen. Yeah. You know, it doesn't spin, it doesn't flip. <laughs> nope. It just kind of hey. nope. just kind of floats. And yeah. It doesn't go that fast either. No, it's just a yeah, a gentle curve. <laughs> Too close to the wall. Now I can't hit anything. Well done, Josh. Well done. Womp womp. Classic wall problems. Honestly, having a fast chemist at this point is probably gonna be better than having anybody that can actually attack anything. If you say so, pal. Oh, oh no. Oh wow. That was awkward. <laughs> Point blank miss. No, no. I don't think you quite grasped exactly what happened there. That archer set up for an aim plus five on Mustadio, and her own knight went and stood directly in front of her. Oh. So if that attack would have actually worked, it would have just been a massive thump on her own guy. For no good That's reason. Amazing. I like That's that. Amazing. That made me happy. Perfect. Now, yep, put a bullet in there, guy. Thank you. Nice. And he got away, so this knight isn't going to inadvertently get protected at the same time, so... Ooh. That's also good. And he distracted, or she distracted him, so she got a sword in the head rather than Mustadio getting it. Mm-hmm. But the auto potion, uh. Yeah, auto potion is, again, healed more than she here, was damaged so for, works. so. Yeah. Oh no, not Steelheart. Oh no! Oh man. Ah, easily remedied. All you have to do is punch him. Now we say that, but last time we did definitely mess up the battle with. <laughs> last time it was a little bit more of a disaster than that. <clears throat> yes, that that is true. Agrius has just decided that she's just going to be a healer from now on. Yeah, don't don't forget about the fact that you have, like, massive sword spells, please. 
Yeah, I'm not really sure what she's doing. Because it's not like the party's really in, like, dire need of healing, right? Well, I, you, you mentioned earlier, you know, don't forget that, um... The, uh, the mage that's still alive is the one that knows how to cast Faraga. So if she's right. gonna if she's going to shell Mustadio, that's probably gonna help us in the long run. Yeah, but if she did her sword move on that black mage that's still alive, then Yeah, but she'd have to get in range. She's nowhere near being in range. So at least she's doing well, she something. She's well. moved like a total of three steps. <laughs> Touche. You're not wrong so, about that. Yeah, watch out. How many books did you make? Eight? Eight books? She's that, made eight books. She's made eight books. Oh my goodness. They're all four pages piece. In not one article for me. Oh, are you correcting me? How many of them have sharks? <laughs> yes. Just one? Just one shark book? Man, how much HP does that black mage have? Yes. Bark. Nark. Oh, okay. Okay, apparently her book is not about a narc, which is good. Okay. Because I didn't raise no snitches, Kaelin, that's why. <laughs> what if it were a moral, par a moral tale about not being a narc? Hmm. I don't believe such a thing exists. Well, maybe that's why she should write it. There's a market there. A cat? Uh-oh. A bat? Uh-oh. Pow. Pow. Gotcha. No Name's angling oh, to be the king of the Twitch memes. Show. What was that? No Name is in uh, Twitch chat, angling to be king of the memes. Oh. Gosh, the, ch the, the, the Twitch chat is more active than the con chat right now, then. Uh, probably, yeah. Looks that way. I almost called it the chit chat, which, you know. Chit chat achieved! <laughs> Y'all came this way, but we're going the other way. Now it's just gonna be like a Looney Tunes uh, chase around in a circle. Okay. What is six plus four plus six equal? Six plus four plus six. Yes. Very good. Uh huh. Gotcha. Duly noted. Thank you. Uh. -huh. Why don't you do two more? Because I believe that DP here is starting to grow tired of my voice, so we may be able to go to the park soon. <laughs> Alex, my friend on the headset, who is not Tittles, and is also not Neil. I want to be the What? Hmm. Suboptimal. Wait, he got charmed again? When did that happen? Yeah. Was I talking to my progeny instead of paying attention to the game? Yeah, a little bit. I was going to just let it happen because you were fine, but. Ah, oh, that sweet auto potion. That makes it really nice. Yeah, only it's total waste of a potion since uh, <laughs> he got yeah, hit for 21. A very desirable out. Now, busting through the door like a real soldier is going to be our chemist. What a bold, bold man. Okay. Okay, there's only three of them. <laughs> only two of them left. So 
Wait. Who's left? Oh, yeah, both the knights. Oh, there are three. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's that archer chilling out down there. I'm gonna have to go do something about her before she picks up crystals. The, the needle of you and really one to I'm sorry, what was that? You've fallen into a cave again. Uh, sorry, I said the angle that you're viewing it from can, can really throw one off. If you're yeah, not that careful. happens a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's okay, kid. Okay. Oh, I see. Nice work, Casper the chemist. <laughs> Casper the friendly chemist. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Leg shot! Oh, come on. <laughs> My. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we'll just have an archer duel here. Yeah, it's not going anywhere fast. Eh. My white mage is bait. Okay. Uh, that knight just keeps like slowly walking towards her. Yeah. With emphasis on the slowly, I'm not really sure what the point is. But... She may not have enough uh, jump ability to get down from there. She may just be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> that actually would be really funny. <laughs> yeah, I thought that oh. might happen. I'll be blocking. Or, oh no, I guess he was defending. I thought he was charging, but it's the guy behind him that's charging. Yeah. Obtained headgear. Now Casper's teeth will be very straight and pretty. <laughs> nice. Oh! Nice shot. Yeah, threaded the needle. Good work, Nostadio. Uh oh. Now he's going the opposite <laughs> yeah, I direction. guess I finally broke his will. <laughs> <laughs> With your mage. <laughs> your white mage. That's kind. Don't fret. He hadn't been damaged yet anyway, so... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Healing him that. did absolutely nothing. Gotcha. That's why I checked that before I cast it. Gotcha. Well, now he's pretty trapped, too. So. Yeah, he's definitely blocked from being able to get whatever that uh, Black Mage drops, which is right. kind of my goal there. Oh, did she? Oh, she didn't have a helmet anyway. I forgot to re-equip her after I was that just last about battle. To ask. Wait, doesn't it usually say something yeah. about the helmet being broken? Yeah, I mean she didn't have one to begin with. Oops. Uh -huh. See, I, I am a really bad multitasker in this game. Either that, or it was really smart on your part. Oh yes, I, I predicted that uh, 25 turns later in a separate battle. You're right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nailed it.
Now, because she's not a chemist and doesn't have the ability, she couldn't throw items, but she could drop one on that knight's head, so it worked out okay. Um, I always forget about that, that throwing an item is a skill that you have to actually have. Yeah. It's an explicit skill. Oh, another headgear. It's, I mean, right, it's really hard to make sure that the item doesn't, you know, flip or twirl or anything in the air, that it remains <laughs> slowly moving and perfectly upright the entire <laughs> trajectory. No, oh, come on! Pete's sake. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Nice. Yeah, he's, he's already demonstrating his uh, utility here. Yeah, he actually is a, uh, a pretty useful character because, uh, well, there's actually several job classes that can equip guns, but um, encountering him here is the first time you actually see one in use. Mm-hmm, gotcha. Hmm. Oh, right, he's a chemist. The other classes that uh, can equip them are um, chemists, interestingly, and uh, there's also uh, another class uh, called the mediator that uh, you haven't seen yet. The mediator? Wow, that sounds kind of dumb. <sighs> I hate everything about this battle. <laughs> No, go after the other one. Anybody can kill that guy. If you want somebody slaughtered, you have to do it yourself. And he blocked I it again. That's what Gapgarian was saying earlier. <laughs> it's true. Mm -hmm. If you want to get paid for slaughtering somebody, you have to do it yourself. It's more his uh, speed. Avenging Archer out here. Oh, so close. <laughs> Turston. Yeah, like, I was just about to make <laughs> more like Turston. Whoa, watch out. No, like that's the equivalent in Evoli for like Zeke. Oh yeah, that that guy pledged a frat like within yeah. minutes yeah. of joining night school. Oh yeah, absolutely. No oh, doubt. good jumping. Pew. There we go. You like dog? Yeah, dog. Thanks. Yeah. They were trying I... to get me to join their frat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go through the hazing though, so they started chasing. Slowest River City Ransom battle ever. <laughs> Barf! Mithril sword. Street dogs. Running for the bear <laughs> training. The bear trading company. Well, I don't know if you remember uh, from the when we played the PSX version, but uh, the original translation of that was just Bart. <laughs> just, ooh, Bart trading. <laughs> That's good. Hello, Bart. Hmm. Whoa, slave trading. Well, you, you gloss right over the opium smuggling and go straight to slave trading, so I, I see how you uh, relax on the weekends. Um, opium trading? Meh. 
what do you think I am? An urbanite in England in the 18th century? I have always envisioned you as a Johnny Depp type. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. But... I believe the answer is you work on machines. <laughs> Ships, man. <laughs> this is a weapon called a pistol. Let me aim it at you. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Can you put it away now? <laughs> Thank you. plays a hard game. Yeah. It's all about the princess. She's not messing around. Speaking of... What an eavesdropping wench. She's a princess, Josh. No, Coral no, she's an eavesdropping wench. No, you can't say that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm, no I'm, receive, I'm receiving I'm receiving advice about not disposing of Mustadio, but little does he know that I never dispose of any special characters because I'm a hack and I don't play the game in any difficult nice. sort of way whatsoever. Nice. Also, he hasn't joined me yet, so it doesn't really matter. Can't dispose of somebody who hasn't joined you. I suspect that will change soon. Correct. Okay, so the cat has now climbed in front of uh, my monitor, so I'm kind of just spitballing here. Nice. Yep, no helmet on her. Still no helmet on her, because they don't have one to buy here. Ovelia, princess. Narrator, narrator way has joined us ah, towards the nice. end yeah unfortunately he won't be able to make fun of us quite as much this week oh wow yeah time has gotten away from us a little bit hasn't it eh, a little bit not too bad when are you taking off um yeah <laughs> good one I guess it depends on. I mean, this game is tricky because thiefy thief. right battles can take so darn long. So it's it's all just sort of a matter of what comes next. Our chocobo has not laid any eggs yet, and I'm angry at him. Wow! I was promised yeah. that he would be laying <laughs> I was promised a number of eggs. Eggs. I am deeply disappointed. Where guy. are my eggs? So the no best part is, is he's had access Reese, to auto potion. I don't think this I know who that is. You don't. Reese. Reese. Yeah, well, huh, Reese. something. It's something. There will never be an end to us drilling enemies from behind, my friend. 
It's the whole reason I'm here. <clears throat> nice. That was in reply to a MP, MP comment. I brought it up. I have it open now too. Oh, you do. Well. Well, because I was getting too confused. So yeah, I guess uh, I had to bring yeah. it up too. Nice. <laughs> Hello, small child. I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. Oh, Agrius is a holy knight as well. That's the same class that uh, uh, the Delita, Delita was, currently right? is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, geez, Delta's costume is definitely better than uh, than Agrius's. Yeah, and he, he gets lots more. He gets costume changes later too, and she doesn't. Dang. Nice work, dog. Let's see. Balius Tor. I think we can get through that one real quick. Or you do we actually so? have to fight that one? That might only be a cutscene at this point. Yeah, I don't think we have to fight an actual battle here. So you get a little mm. more exposition before we call it a day. It's for me. And you I can't wipe on this one. Just beyond those mountains. Yeah, you can't bite it here. Then again, it's also not clear if we'll be able to drill anyone from behind here. I'm sure NP is thinking about a joke about the two ladies in the scene at the moment. Would that I were born no princess. Nah. Particularly one hanging from the passenger side of her best friend's <clears> ride. <laughs> the proverbial passenger side of the proverbial best friend's proverbial ride. <laughs> yes, it, it's all of the the uh, <laughs> the proverbs, as it were. Yes, of course. The only sky I've known hanging in by sight and sound. Highness, you must not blame yourself. You must blame this guy eavesdropping through the door. <laughs> it's funny because you. I was just making so a joke about yeah. Obviously visible. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, us. because of that. Ah, <gasps> oh, Lady Almoth has. <laughs> It all wow. comes together. My uh -huh. only true friend. My only true friend. What if the cardinal makes to use me? Meanwhile, like Agrius is like, yeah, I'd fall on a sword for you, but okay, whatever. <laughs> Almost well, your only true friend. Uh. <laughs> if there's one thing we know about um, about this universe, the universe of Evil East, it's that everyone is, is bad. <laughs> so. <laughs> Cat. Hmm. Cat. That seems suspicious to me, though. That the northern sky dudes haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> nice one, NP. Evil East. <laughs> uh, uh... How did oh. I not think of that before? <laughs> oh, wait, you're about to miss out on some uh, hot grass flute action again. Oh, jeez. That sweet, sweet sound. <laughs> Scree! Oh. <laughs> oh, music to my ears. <laughs> Indeed. 
Ah, uh, yeah, so that was before we left Zaland. We haven't gone to Balia's Tor yet. Uh, Nor will we. Good night, everybody. We've I have clocked to take a an kid hour to the and park. 40 minutes today. We've clocked an take hour and 25 minutes, according to the stream. Oh, really? Oh, oops. Yes, I have that in front of me. Because I'm the uh, I guess we were doing a little bit before we started it up. Well, I, I, start, I started up our screen share before you came in. Mm. That's probably what you're looking at. Gotcha. Yeah. When you say that you have to take her to the park, it sounds like you're going to like walk a dog or something. Well, yeah, it's it's kind of like uh, I it's going to be an old yeller sort of situation, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Got to take her out back to the park. Whoa. We should now, um, um it, if since we have since we have like a record three people in chat right now. I think you were about to say the same thing I was about to say. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? No, I was you, gonna no, say does does this earlier time oh. is this earlier time preferable? Oh, I don't care rather about than the that. Later time? Well, I'm doing this just to hear myself say? talk. I and mean, these people being here is just a bonus. Well, I mean, sure, but you know, it's you know. No, I, I was going to say that anybody who might be in the chat right now that doesn't follow us should follow us. Like right now. Because it's funny. You mean for like the emails? For when? Well, I, obviously, uh, obviously, those guys did not get the emails <laughs> on any sort of good schedule. But uh, hmm. I, no, I, I just, emails, I just wanted is... to see the notification in the stream again before I shut it off. Oh, oh, oh! I know what you're talking about now. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. I don't think you're in luck, though, Josh. No, I, th I think they both already follow us. Yeah. Trying to suck up to me. Mm. Yeah, uh-huh, that's what happened, all right. Yep, I see it. Last. All right. Bye, jerks. Bye. Ah, they all follow me. Uh-huh. Or us, or people. Mm. Wah.